East is East and West is West and never the twain shall meet. Well, that's what Rudyard Kipling thought, and Australian director Peter Weir seems to agree in his new movie, The Year of Living Dangerously. On the surface, it's a conventional adventure story. Okay, get down. An Australian reporter, Mel Gibson, arrives in Indonesia in 1965. The communists are threatening to overthrow the corrupt government of General Sukarno. It's not just another story, it's the big story. Only problem is the reporter is tipped to what's happening by his girlfriend, Sigourney Weaver, a British intelligence agent. You can't use this. Then you shouldn't have told me. Well, needless to say, he goes ahead with the story, risking do? his relationship with her and with Billy Kwan, the film's most interesting and enigmatic character. I believed in you. I thought you were a man of light. That's why I gave you those stories you think are so important. I made you see things. I made you feel something about what you write. I gave you my trust. So did you. I created you. Ah, yes, the moment of insight, almost metaphysical, also murky. This East-West clash of cultures makes the movie intriguing, but it's best just as an old-fashioned romantic thriller, the dawn coming up like thunder on the road to Jakarta. I'm Michael Putney.